This week on Rugged Expeditions, there's no more thrilling way to hunt than to hunt Cape Buffalo in tall, thick grass. We were lucky that we saw four or five of them cut away from the herd and start meandering down toward the dry riverbed. Presented by Global Rescue, there when you need them most. I was asked to donate a hunt to the Weatherby Foundation, and the winning bidder would get to come and hunt a Cape Buffalo on the Rugged Expeditions television show. Was I happy when I saw that Ralph and Deb Cunningham were the high bidders and they were coming hunting in Tanzania for yours truly? I've hunted with them before several times, always had a blast. I knew we were in for a good time on Rugged Egg. Hi there, Debbie. Hello, how, how are you? How are you doing? Blake. Hi. Nice to meet you, man. Hosting us on this trip was Alan Sackman. A woman! A woman! A woman! Oh! Through his generosity, we were able to put this trip together and raise money for needed conservation. The camp consisted of some of the greatest hunters anywhere on Earth. So what a pleasure it was to get to spend time at the dinner table each evening, sit around the fire and swap stories with them. One of those occasions that only happens once in life. This concession we're hunting in in Tanzania has a lot of variety of terrain and habitat. Everything from the long grass and the plains to river jungles along the sides of the rivers. It's a nice place to hunt and you get to see a lot of different stuff when you're out here. On day one, we got into a really nice herd of buffalo. A bunch of bulls in there. They were down in the river. It looked like it was gonna be a good setup, but eventually we just weren't gonna be able to get in on them and we decided to just leave them alone, back away where we were gonna have a chance to come back and chase them either the next day or the day after, after they'd settled down a bit. We found some really fresh tracks crossing the road here right at daylight, and it looks like they've been well within the last half an hour or so. We're gonna head out across this burnt off and see if we can catch them before they lay down. There's a nice set of bull tracks in with some other ones. We'll see if we can get Deb on one of these monsters. Living right here in this one valley. Ralph and Deb are gamers. They don't care how far they gotta walk, how many tetsy flies there are, how tough of a hunt it's gonna be. They're in. They're willing to do whatever it takes to get in on buff. And that's what makes a fun hunt. Okay, there's something just slipped in his head. We started hunting in 1980, and buffalo hunting is one of the things that I really enjoy the adventure of it and excitement and each one is different. See your height. Just try to get a couple of positions. So indicate when they stand up which one. Dang it. This one got her wind over to the left and then these three. Oh, it was more than three. Stood up with no chance for a shot. Well, we gave it a try. Yeah. That's why they call it hunting, mm -hmm. not killing. Mm -hmm. Although it would be nice to get in some killing. Yeah. I'd say we put in our walk for who deserves a bolt now. Mm -hmm. 
After several hours of tracking through the brush, Alan Smith, along with his good friend Deb Cunningham, have spotted a herd of Cape buffalo obscured within the tall grass of the valley. There's no more thrilling way to hunt than to hunt Cape buffalo in tall, thick grass. You'll sometimes see their backs or the shadow of them as they're moving through it. You'll see the grass itself moving, but you can't even see the animal. You'll occasionally see a bird fly up from the back that gives you the location of where they are, and then you just gotta go to them. And hopefully, get them into a position before they see you. Go ahead and pull out in that opening. Okay. I'm just gonna stay low behind you so there's not all of us standing out there in the open. Okay. Did he wet his pants? Okay, I'm just below the red spot. Oh, below the red. Ah! Wow. Oh. It's so nice when they stand up. Yeah. Yeah. Try to watch. He's still okay, awake. Okay. Okay. In the Good going, David. Oh, Thank you. It was a lovely morning's mm, hunt. Mm, the same was... herd. We started early on, tracking them for about three yeah, kilometers. Yeah, yeah. And then to spot him again. We With... got onto the anthill there. With... Very possible the same bull. I think he could be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Excellent oh, again. thank you. Thank you. He's fabulous. Boy, they're tough. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How many shells can he take? Oh, what I mean, a... what a morning. We hiked Ooh. and hiked and hiked, thinking, okay, they've run out yeah. of and then they joined up with this big herd. Yeah. Perfect. And then the rest of them, the rest of the herd kept going, which made it nice because that left these old boys hanging out back here. Underneath they the thought street. they were fine here, I think. Yeah, they said, let the but cows those, go. But those, that herd got so close to us there. With all of us standing in that grass, I, I don't know how they, how they didn't. Well, luckily, that wind was nice and strong going right past us. Yeah. I kept waiting for one of them to all of a sudden go. Oh, you know, uh -huh. hey, Put their nose up. What are those guys doing over there? Well, yeah. Ooh. He didn't want to stay down there at first, did he? No. Oh, yeah. He's done. He's done. Yay! Well done. Thank you. What a shot. Wow, thank you. What an animal. Look at the horns on him, huh? Yeah. Look how Let solid me... they are. Yeah. But look at how gnarly he is. Yeah. All beat up from fighting. Uh -huh. and his tips are worn down. Beautiful. That's the kind of bull we were looking for. Yeah. And he's all scarred up. Huh? Look at all the mud from the fight. But I think he's in great condition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, he's a prime bull. And he was hiding over here waiting. Yep. I guess it was his turn and your turn. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Well done. Fabulous. Thanks, What a Alan. great trip here in Tanzania. Oh. Having Ralph and Deb in camp is always fun. But Deb can every once in a while come up with some pranks. I remember last year when we were hunting down in Mexico, 
We all load up in the truck. We're heading out. We're just going to go look at some stuff and see what's going on. Maybe if we can find Deb another deer or something like that. When all of a sudden they slammed on the brakes on the truck and everybody starts yeah, yelling. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot, oh, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Right in, in the yellow patch in front. About 200 yards. About 200 yards. In the yellow patch. Yep. Shoot him. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm killing. Shoot him back. That's a decoy. You know, they did even better. What was even better was all I could see was horns like you guys could see his neck. And when I was first looking, there was a bush, so all I could see was horns, which made it even worse. Because that's all I could see was his horns. Like... She set up the boys to have me sneak in on a decoy that they had set up. So now Deb's here in Tanzania with me. I think it's time to turn the tables on Deb. After spending a couple days with Deb in the back of the truck, it soon became obvious through conversation that she was deathly afraid of snakes. Well, when it came time to prank time, I figured, well, might as well use that to my advantage. Like, watch, there's a snake, right? Oh, what? 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 What is it? There it comes, the monster. No! What? Watch out, they can usually follow people. Okay, go, 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 Watch out, go, go, go. Parker. Watch, and Yoki. Mamba. And Yoka. Deb. Did they lie? No, he's gone. He's over the bank. Christ. He went down the bank, but he came up after us a little bit. Well spotted, you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, Yoka. You got a shotgun? We can go mess with him a little bit. Whew, that'll get your heart racing, huh? <laughs> so, Deb, remember that little trick you played on me in Mexico? Yeah. That was your payback, my you dear. Devil! <laughs> I will say that I was completely surprised by that and fell for it, and I think that made it all the more fun for the crew and for Alan and everyone, for Ralph. Me, I had almost a heart attack. <laughs> That's why we didn't give you a gun to come out here with. I was afraid there was going to be some shooting going on, or, or worse yet, you'd be running and shooting something. No, 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 no. Woo! Okay, well, that was... All right, let's go look at the falls anyhow. I deserved it. Oh, so this is why we were telling the Mamba story. Yeah, that's a... Mo I wasn't falling for it. The thick forest of Tanzania offers many opportunities for big game hunters. However, stalking through the crackling leaves and brush is just one of several challenges when sneaking in close to a herd. The problem with getting into the big herds is that you've got so many eyes and so many noses that at any moment are going to either see you or smell you, and then the game's over. What you're trying to do is bust a few of them off to the side or follow some that leave the herd and go down to a water hole or maybe they go in for some other greener grass. We were lucky that we saw four or five of them cut away from the herd and start meandering down towards a dry riverbed. Well, after Deb took her buffalo, and then it was my turn. And uh, Blake and I had the opportunity to begin to track uh, what appeared to be a pretty nice bull. But Blake likes to get in close. He likes to get as close as he can to take a little bit of the guesswork out of it and also to provide a real opportunity for the hunter to take the buffalo. And they both looked like they were excellent buffalo and, and two that we would follow and, and see what we could uh, do.
What a great setup. Blake, that was awesome. Good shooting, Ralph. Man, that first one, he was done. He's done. <laughs> well done, man. What great, a great, a great shot. Great bull. What a bull, huh? He's all gnarly, and it's an old bull. He's got a little bit of this you know, it's not growth, he's not all the way across, but this genetic that they've got in here, you see this quite a bit on an old bull like this. It's just a little bit, it's not really not even soft, it's just a, you know, where he hasn't grown together. But uh -huh. First shot did a job on him. Yeah, no, he was crunched, but that was a good idea to keep pumping him in him. I mean, sure. he kept trying to get up. He, did. I mean, he He was struggling, he was gonna try and come up and come. And as soon as he saw that that was us over there, did you see how he was looking right at us? <laughs> he was looking around like this, and then he saw us, he was trying to get up and look at those hooks, huh? You know, they've done such a good program here in Tanzania with managing these wildlife areas. And Michel Mentiakis, his concession here, he's got fantastic animals. The quality of the animals he's got just shows in this. I mean, this is just, this is the bull of a lifetime. It doesn't get any better than this. No. Nope. Well done. Thank that you. was some kind of good shooting right there Thanks, on Megan X. Getting to spend a couple of weeks with a hunting couple like Ralph and Deb Cunningham, really makes it all worthwhile being out here in the field. You get to experience all the thrills of Africa with a couple that really appreciates it. They're the ones that are out there leading the conservation movement. And for me to get to spend time with them, it's been a tremendous experience.